Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory and praise. We give you glory and praise. Hallelujah. Maka celebrant the gazul of regadin the gabala brata. Yete te celebrant the celebrant the gazul of regadin the gabala brata. Yeka pala brand the gazul of regadin the gazel bragadaya. Raka celebrant the gazul of regadin daya. Yeka tolo brand the gabala bragadan the gazel brogodosha. Yeka kala man the gazel brogodosha of regadin the gabala bragadaya. Thank you, Jesus. Kabala man the gazul of regadia. Mapoto zul of regadin the gabala mondo gazul of regadia. E kala broko do sele brega din de kala braga da la mande gazeli raka tele broko do sele brega din de kala braga da raka na broko do sele brega din de kala braga da na bosha la bra Thank you, Jesus. Kabala Mande Solo Rere. Makato Zevinda Kabala Bragadin de Kabala Brogodosa. Ripa Parabanda Gasul of Regadin de Kabala Brogadaya. Rakatele Gasul of Ringadala Brogodosa. Branda Solo Brenda Kabala Brata. Eka Kande Gasul of Rende Kabala Brogadaya. Basala Brata. Eka Pala. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Yahweh. Makatele Brondo Solo Brata. E Prakato Celebrende Gabala Brata. Thank you, Yahweh. Thank you, Yahweh. Makatele Brakadana Manda Gazele Brakadana Bondo Gosolo Vrede. Rakato Sala Brata. Father, we give you glory and praise. Father, we give you glory and praise. Raka Telebrende Gabala Brogodosa. Rapala Brande Gazula Regadin de Gabala Brogodosa. Rika Palamanda Gazele Brogodosa Labrata. Father, we give you glory and praise. Father, we give you glory and praise. 
Bala Branga do Salavrata, Yeka Katala Gatele Brondo Sulam Regade in the Kabala Branga Data, Rika Kala Branda Kazulam Regade in the Kabala Branga Data, Ye Prakatele Vrinda Kabolo Brogodosa, Ye Katala Branda Sulam Regade in the Kabala Brogodosa, Rakatele Branda Sulam Rata. Kabala Branda Sulu Rere, Raka Pala Branda Sulu Renda Kabala Branda Daya, Rika Pala Branda Sulu Renda Pala Branda De Sulu Rata, Raka Tele Brondo Sulu Ratele Gadanda Gazile, Raka Tele Brondo Sulu Regan. Father, we thank our good morning family. Please take a moment to distribute the good news, distribute the good news. Share the good news of Jesus Christ. Begin to distribute the distribute the good news to your friends. Send it to your groups. Send it to all of your groups. Uh, do not be apologetic, or do not apologize about it. Just send it. Send it. You explain to them later. Just send it. Send it to them. Let them all connect. YouTube. Send. If you're on a mix allow, please do send. Um, Post it on Facebook. Facebook, um, take the YouTube and post Facebook yet. We are not on Facebook, so you can post it on Facebook any day, any time. Just post it. They don't have to be ready. Let God touch them. Paste it on Facebook. Let everyone on your Facebook um, see that the Lord is awake to bless them this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Good to see some people here that I've not seen. I didn't see them on the first day and the second day. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Rekia, it's good to see you. Thank you. Rekia is just so faithful. God bless you. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you, prophetess. Good to see you. Hey, Joshua, good to see you. Good to see you. Please do share, take a minute to share, to share the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hey, Judy, you're welcome. Judy, all the way from Kenya, you're welcome. God bless you, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you, family. Pastor Erastus, all the way from Malawi, God bless you, God bless you. Lami, God bless you. Oh. Kingwa, God bless you. Zambia, God bless you. God bless you. Hey, God bless you, family. It's good to see each and every one of you this morning. Hey, the amazing gifted voice. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. That's my sister, Minister Onos Ario. God bless you. God bless you. It's an honor to have you here. God bless you. Ah, shade, mounted shade. God bless you. That is Danjuma's wife. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm super excited for this five days of glory because I'm beginning to see the testimonies that are already rolling in. Yesterday, we prayed that God will satisfy us early. And people have begun to share the testimony of their early satisfaction. And I can't wait. Please do not be jealous. Just connect with faith. God has you in mind also. I believe that something mighty is about to break loose for each and every one of us this year, 2023. I'm super excited. I know that God has something mighty for each and every one of us. This is not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence platform on these five days of power. Power is going to be released. Power slap the devil. Power slaps the devil hands down in the name of Jesus. The Bible says how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power. Power slaps the devil this year 2023 in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I'm super excited for what God is going to do. I cannot wait to receive your
this Saturday is going to be a great Saturday for you. Ah, I received that prophecy also for myself. This Saturday is going to be a great Saturday for you. As the weekend enters, as you enter the weekend, you receive a good news. I'm telling you, you're receiving a good news this Saturday. I don't know who that word is for, but I'm already excited about it and I tap into it. I connect my spirit to it. This Saturday, as you, as you just connect to Saturday, God has a mighty word for you. God has a mighty news for you. Saturday, you receive a good news. Either text message. Saturday, you receive a good news. Saturday, this Saturday, you receive a good news. You're receiving a good news this Saturday. This particular Saturday, you're receiving a good news. Hallelujah. I tap into that prophecy in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because there's no distance in the realm of the Spirit. No distance in the realm of the Spirit. I'm also grateful for the healings that took place yesterday. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Migraine headache was healed yesterday. Oh, Father, we give you praise and glory. Back pain was healed yesterday. Father, and there was something else that someone sent me a testimony yesterday. I'm, I'm super grateful. I'm super grateful for the mighty hand of God that was at work yesterday. Praise Jesus. Today, we're going to move further to be able to pray um, for ourselves. We're going to pray for ourselves. Um, sometimes there are prayers that charges us up and there are prayers that makes us but today is going to be a prayer that makes us to reflect amen a prayer that will make us to reflect on our lives praise God we have we have a God that is always willing to flow in our lives a God that is always willing to manifest himself in our lives. Praise God. Yeah, I like that advice. She said, please, let's like and follow Apostle on YouTube and share the love. Come on now. I like that. Share the life. I like it. Follow me. Follow me on YouTube. Everyone on Instagram, go to YouTube and follow me. One Pit Rock or Pit Rock Sadiq. You'll find me there. Then share the love. You know, on YouTube, it's just so easy to share. Share the love. Spread the good news. Distribute. Save somebody's soul. Do not be, do not be selfish this year. This year, be a giver. Be a giver of good news. Share Apostle Pit Rock's YouTube prayer channel. You come here every day. You listen to the word of God, you get blessed, you put it up for your family, your family gets blessed, and you do not. God is looking at you from heaven with a telescope. I need you to know that Jesus Christ is just watching you if you do not share. Share it. Jesus Christ is watching you. Share the life. Praise the name of the Lord. So God is super eager, always ready to flow through us. You see, what limits on earth is not God himself. What limits God on earth is men. Men are the reason why God, the expressions of God are not felt. If you see a miracle anywhere, someone brought it there. Or an angel brought it there. And somebody made the angel to come there. The realm of the supernatural is that thou art mindful of him. The son of man that thou visited him. So every time you have a visitation from heaven, it was a man that activated it. A man brought it into existence. It is men that are God's channel ooh, of the supernatural. Every time God wants to operate upon the face of the earth, deliver the Israelites from the bondage of Pharaoh. He looked for a man. God wanted to deliver humanity from sin. And the oppression of the enemy, he looked for a woman by the name Mary, and he came as a man. God did not come as a spirit. The Bible says, if any spirit Christ did not come in flesh and blood, he said, that is the Antichrist. So God came in the flesh. He came as a man. Because men are the conduits. Men are the channels. Men are the distributing factors of God's grace and God's glory. God's goodness is being distributed upon the face of the earth through men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, bakatoze ve kabala. Oh. Sarastos invited somebody. Oh, 
Thank you, Pastor Erastos, all the way from Malawi. Malawi people are increasing on this platform. Oh, South Africa. South Africa. <laughs> and UK, you got to sit up. You've got to sit up. Because the, the Malawi family, they are increasing on this platform. Now, listen. And the vessel, the kind of vessel that God will use to distribute his glory. We've got to be the kind of vessel that will bring honor to the supernatural power of God in our lives. We've got the Bible tells us that there are different kinds of vessels. The Bible tells us we are different kinds. Look at, look at. Let's go to, let's go to. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. 4, verse 7. I hope I'm right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I feel an anointing. <laughs> I like this. I like when the anointing just hits me. <laughs> I know that somebody's about to be blessed. Woo! Glory! <laughs> today you are, you, today is somebody's day. Look at it. Verse 7. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 7. It says, But we have this treasure. Woo! So the treasures of God are in eighteen vessels. <laughs> God's treasure are in eighteen vessels. God's glory are in 18 vessels. God's wisdom are in 18 vessels. God's grace flows through 18 vessels. 18 vessels. You and I. You and I. But you see, I do not want to be an obstruction. I do not want to be an obstruction of God's glory and God's power in my life. I do not want to be an obstruction of God's mandate in my life. I do not want to be an obstruction of God's grace in my life. He said, but that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Not of us. That we, we are out of the way when God wants to flow through us. We do not interrupt the flow of his glory. That I am a good channel. That if God wants to get healing through me, I'm a good channel. Favor through me, I'm a good channel. If God wants to get good news through me, I'm a good channel. I don't want to interrupt the flow. I don't want to be a broken pipe. No. I, want, I don't want to be a clodded pipe. I want, I, I, want, I want to be a vessel that God can flow through with ease. The of the power may be of God and not of us. There are some believers that are like reservoirs. A reservoir is where you store water. Everything is coming in, nothing is going out. Some believers are like reservoirs. They are not like pipes. Mighty crude oil of heaven. The anointing of heaven. One day I went for an excursion to, to the dock where the ships were, where the ship is, and, and I could see how they were moving oil. And I could see these gigantic pipes. The pipes were bigger than highways for the flow of the oil to move from one state to another state and sometimes to another nation. I don't want to be clodded in the pipe. I want to be a good channel. I don't just want to be a reservoir. I don't just want to be receiving, receiving. And nobody gets blessed through my life. No. This year I'm a distributor. Woo! This year I am a distributor. You see, for you to be a distributor, it means that you have more than enough. <laughs> this year. This year.
year I'm a distributor of his favor. This year I'm a distributor of his glory. This year I'm a distributor of his power. How God anointed Peter Roxadeep with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about, he went about, he went about doing good. I'm doing good to humanity this year. I'm a distributor in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The excellency of the power may be of God. God flow through me. Hallelujah. 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 L listen, we must kill the spirit of selfishness. It will take the spirit of brokenness for the anointing to flow. You have to be broken for the oil to flow. The oil has to flow through a broken soul, through a broken spirit. When I mean broken, you there's no pride in you no pride you are not lifted up the bible says god gives grace to the humble but he resists the proud i don't want to be a proud vessel i want to be a humble vessel a vessel that has the ability to reach out let my soul be filled with compassion for many hallelujah 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 the true sign has not been lost one of the greatest things Satan wants to touch in your life is your compassion. You allow men to hurt you. Allow men to disappoint you. Allow men to insult you. You see, Satan will allow men to accuse you so that you can lose your compassion. Because it takes compassion for the glory to glory to be distributed through you. It takes compassion. And, and, and Satan will make you lose faith in men. You see, you, you don't only need faith in God, you also need faith in men to live a very beautiful Christian walk. You begin to lose faith in men. Satan will make you lose faith in men. And you tell yourself, oh, trust God only. Trust God only. Trust God only. Men are wicked. Men are evil. Men will disappoint. No, that's not how God wants you to live. The Bible says if you cannot love your neighbor whom you see, how can you love God whom you do not see? So one of the, one of the strategies of Satan is to break your heart so much. Takes it, put it on the table like suya. Chop it, chop it, chop, chop the heart. So that your heart is distributed in different directions and you stop having compassion. Compassion for humanity. Satan will make sure you're deceived by a criminal. So that nobody is going to touch my compassion. I don't care what people have done. I'm not here to be pleased by men. No! Jesus said, woe unto you if all men say good of you. <laughs> that means you don't need everybody's reputation. You see, in this social media age, everybody's looking for approval. Everybody's looking for approval. Approval. Somebody wants someone to comment on their video to like them. Needs people to follow them. No! If you do things because of approval of men, you are going to fail. Listen, even there were two people that were connected to my prayer, one on one on YouTube and one on Instagram, and I don't have anybody on Mixer. I'll still be here tomorrow morning. <laughs> if there was only one person on earth that would have been saved, Jesus Christ will still come and die. You cannot live your life waiting for the approval of men every day. It will destroy your compassion. It will destroy your compassion where you need men to applaud you before you do what God wants you to do. It will destroy your compassion. Hallelujah. Nobody should be able to touch the compassion of Jesus Christ in your soul. He went he went about doing good. He went about doing good. Glory be to God. Glory be to the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He went about doing good. He went about doing good. Listen. Look at, let me read another scripture for you. Woo! 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. Ooh. Huh? 2, verse 14. I love Jesus. I love the word of God. It says, now thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ and uses the fragrance of his knowledge in every place. <laughs> he said, through us. The King James says, and diffuses, distributes, makes manifest the fragrance of his knowledge 
by us in us in every place so god uses us to let everybody know how sweet he smells the fragrance of his knowledge the fragrance of his knowledge by us by me by me by me the fragrance of his knowledge i make manifest the fragrance of his knowledge i make manifest the fragrance of his knowledge see more of God through you. John the Baptist say, may I decrease that he may increase. This year, people will see the glory of God through you in the name of Jesus. This year, people will see the power of God through you. This year, of the knowledge of Jesus Christ through you, through you this year, this year, this year, this year, this year, you are a vessel of honor. Oh, shaka talabai. Oh, balande sule vregedisha. Man buroko tuze vega palaba. Isha kapa. Ye keke le brede sule vregedisha. Aratu kozule vregedinda kapala. Brodo shalahata. Ela manda kozule. Fanda gadia. Tell somebody I'm a vessel of honor. Let's look at some scriptures. Let's look at 2 Timothy 2, 21. You see, I'm not talking about just you living your life. I'm talking about you becoming a vessel of honor. God to flow through. Look at it. Let's look at um, 2 Timothy. Chapter 2, verse 20. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 20. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 20. Look at what he says. Look at, listen to this. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 20. But in a great house, that's the kingdom of God, they are not only vessels of gold and silver, of wood and earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. So, they are vessels of honor. In a great house, they are vessels of honor. So that when the glory flows, people will honor. People will look at the way you are living your life and they will say, wow, this is a vessel of honor. Oh, I would love to be like this. Look at verse 21. So the responsibility of becoming a vessel of honor is not with God. The responsibility of becoming a vessel of honor is with you. It's with you. You've got to pray, Lord, break me. Break every spirit of selfishness, greed. My life. Break me and make me a vessel of honor. I do not want to taint the name of Jesus. I want to bring glory to the name of Jesus. Take away this stupid attitude of always getting angry. Why are you always angry? I come against the spirit of anger in your life. You're always angry. How can you be a vessel of honor and you have problems with anger? All the time you are angry. Look at it. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use. Woo! And prepared unto everything. God becomes so proud to use you more. God becomes so delighted to use you more. May your name bring honor to the kingdom of God in 2023. That this power, the excellency of his power, may, let it flow through a vessel of honor. He said, Santa, and meet for the master's use. When God is searching for men, may he find me. When God is searching for men, may he find me. 
When God is searching for men and women, may he find you. Every spirit of, of, of selfishness, broken. Oh, my family, me, myself, my family, my enjoyment, my enjoyment. Me, I came to this life for soft life. Soft, soft life. That becomes the kind of attitude you have. No compassion. No reaching out. No distribution. No sharing of his glory. You're only thinking about yourself. Your family. That's all. No. How would God use you when, he's, when everything is about you? Where does he want to use you to? Or who does he want to use you for? May you bring joy to nations this year. Oh, frakatove lende shile. Oh, Pastor, I've helped some people and they've taken, they've taken advantage of me. Nobody can take advantage of you. Nobody can take advantage of you. It's their loss. It's their loss that they did not recognize you were a destiny helper. Nobody can take advantage in the hand of the master who wants to take advantage of the apple of God's eye. Nobody can take advantage of you. It's their loss. They did not recognize the glory of God. Listen to me. The Pharisees did not recognize the glory of Jesus. It was their loss. Judas did not recognize the Messiah, of, the Messiahship of Jesus Christ. It was his loss. It was his loss. Jesus did not judge his destiny by the betrayal of Judas. The betrayal of Judas purified his destiny. I do not want you to think that because people did not see your glory, then you are not called. Don't judge your life by the people that disapprove you. No. When you are approved of God, that's all you need. The Bible says, for you are a royal priesthood, a chosen person. You are chosen. You are peculiar. You are special. You've, we've got to remove that spirit of bitterness this year. Hurt, disappointment, the spirit of fear, the spirit of fear, the spirit. You cannot reach out. You say, but I failed last year. So what? So what? If you're going to do things special for God, you cannot have the spirit of fear. You cannot operate by the spirit of fear. That's not a vessel of honor. A fearful man is not a vessel of honor. How do you represent a great God with a heart of fear? Grant unto us that with all boldness we may speak your word, stretch forth your hands and do signs and wonders through the mighty name of your Lord, of your Son, Jesus Christ. How do you pray? God has not given us the spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear. Don't be afraid. You take over the UK. You distribute your glory there. You take over the US. Go there. Come on. Go on a tour. Fear not. God is with you. God is with you. He will empower you. He will send men ahead of you. Listen to me. The wise men are already looking for your star. Make sure you are shining. Do not let anyone stop you. Stop God's glory in your life. No, you cannot live in fear. We are going to be, we'll purge ourselves. Look at, he said, it, very powerful, very powerful. He said, if a man should purge himself of these things, he shall become a vessel of honor. Look at it. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He said, if therefore, from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor. So there are some things we purge. We, we purge. You know what it means to purge? To remove things from your system that are conflicting with your health. 
you purge. And when you purge, you put it in the toilet. Purge yourself of the spirit of pride. Purge yourself of the spirit of fear. Fear is a spirit. It will cripple you. It will... Purge yourself of the spirit of selfishness, of greed. Purge yourself of the bitterness and the hurt and the disappointment of the past. It's a new year. Why carry old things into a new year? Why carry old things into a new year? Purge your self-righteous. Self-righteousness is one of the most dangerous What word would I use? Self-righteousness is so dangerous. Where you sit down in your space and you begin to judge other human beings. Self-righteousness. Self-righteousness. You know who and who is not working right in God. Self-righteousness. You keep discussing people's names and people's attitude and people's spirit. Self-righteousness. Jesus said, before you begin to talk about the speck in somebody's eye, make sure you have removed the log from your own eye. Stop discussing other people's children. Don't discuss God's children. Pray for them. Let your spirit be, I, Lord, I want to just impact lives. Lord, I just want to be used by you. I want to help people. I want to help people. I want to bless people. I want to bless as many people as I can bless. Let my life make an imprint in nations. That spirit of self-righteousness that makes you feel you are better than any other person. You better stop it. Yourself. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Let me read another scripture for us. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. I told you that today is going to be reflective. First Thessalonians. Look at First Thessalonians. Verse 4. First Thessalonians, verse 4. Let me, let me start from verse 1. Then we'll end at um, the, chapter 4, sorry. Chapter 4 from verse 1. First Thessalonians. Furthermore, then we beseech you, brethren, and exalt you by the Lord Jesus Christ, that as you have received of us how you ought to walk and to please God. How you ought to walk and to please God. You would abound more and more his glory flows in your life more and more for you know that commandments we gave you by the lord jesus christ for this is the will of god even your sanctification this is the will of god even your sanctification that you should abstain from fornication verse 4 that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel. Know how to possess your vessel. This is not a year of clubbing and twerking and shaking and doing all manner of things. He said, one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and in honor. He said, not in loss of con as the Gentiles which know not God, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such. Possess your vessel, the Bible says. Possess your vessel. So it's our responsibility to hold tight our vessels and not just live our lives anyhow. You're going to be a vessel of honor in the name of Jesus. You can be in the house. You know, the Bible says in a 
So we're not judging you or condemning you that you're not in the house. You are in the house. But if you are in the house, be a vessel of honor. Why choose to be another kind of vessel when you can be a vessel of honor? The house might not reject you. But vessels of honor is totally different. The Bible says feet, meat for the master's use. Meat for the master's use. He said in a great house, there are very many vessels. Romans. Romans chapter 9. Romans 9. Let me read from the New King James Version. Or the ESV. Verse 9 from. Why does he still find fault? For who can resist his will? But who are you, O oh man, to answer back to God? Will what is molded say to the molder, Why have you made me like this? 21. Has the potter no right? To make out of the same lump one vessel of for honorable use and another for dishonorable use. What if God desiring to show his wrath and to make known his power has endured with such patience vessels of wrath prepared for destruction? Me, I am a vessel of honor. One of the greatest qualities you can ever have to be a vessel of honor is to be broken. To be broken. Do you know what perfection in the spirit? Not living in self-righteousness. That 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 attitude of brokenness. That you recognize when you are wrong. There's no one here that is perfect. Under this table, I have clay feet. And where you are, you have clay feet. But that spirit of brokenness that says, Use me, Lord. For you, O oh God. For you, O oh God. You don't cover, cover your mistakes. You just cover your mistakes with more bad attitude. Covering, 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 covering. You know how to be broken. You know how to lay down at this altar. Not that you enter the church, worship is going on, your heart is not moved. To cry before his glory. You don't even know how to worship. You don't even know how to sing to him. You are not broken. You're not broken. If you can use anything, Lord, you If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Take my hands, Lord, and my feet. Touch my heart, Lord. Speak to me if you can use anything, Lord. You can use me. I give myself away. That's a song of brokenness. My mind away so you can use me. I give my life away. Give myself away so you can use me. 
for some of you, you will sing, I give my boyfriend away, 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 so you lose me. So you can bless me. Lord, you can lift me. Your heart has to be broken. The Bible says a broken spirit and a contrite heart. A broken spirit and a contrite heart. The Bible says the Lord will not despise. I don't know who is listening to me this morning. Make me a vessel of honor. Lord, make me a vessel of honor. Because that prayer, you don't have the strength to make yourself. You can purge, but God is the maker. He said, follow me, I will make you. Look at Jeremiah. Jeremiah 18. Jeremiah 18. He said, And the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise, go down to the and there I will cause you to hear my words. Then I went down to the porter's house, and there he was making something at the wheel. And the vessel that he had made of clay was marred. It was not honorable. Hand of the porter. The vessel was still in the hand of the porter. But it was not honorable. It was mad. So you can be in the hand of the porter and be mad. Until you have a broken spirit where he can mold you. Where God can twist you. Some of us were holding on to what is killing us. We are holding on like, God, I love it. I love it. I love it. I will not let go. And he's saying, if you can just have a broken spirit, I will use you for so much more than your eyes could ever imagine. What you are looking at as success is too small. I'm going to use you. You are not yet honorable. And look at what I'm using you to do. Just imagine if you take an extra step of sacrifice. And become a person of honor. See. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Is somebody listening to me today? He says, see what I will use you to do for my glory. Then the Bible says, and the vessel that he made of clay was mad in the hand of again into another vessel that it seemed good to the potter to make. Not to me. Not to my life. Not to my space. To the potter. Let my life bring glory to the potter. He is the potter. I am the king. We complain too much to God, but we never ask him, what do you want? We are always telling God what we want, but we never ask him, what do you want? Here I am in your presence. Do to me what you want. I'm open. Before you, Lord, do to me 60 seconds or five minutes. I want you to pray. Make me this year, 2023, Lord, make me a broken spirit and a contrite heart. I do not want to be proud. Make me, oh God. 
pray from the depth of your heart. You can't make yourself. Make me, God. Make me a vessel of honor. Make me kasuka baladi shulamrebos. Here I am in your presence. Do to me. Lord, make me Zale and Tera Mana Teleron and Mia Telebia Trevede. Lord, use me for your glory, for your honor. Lord, make me, Lord, make me, Lord, make me, Basare Rosaria. Lord, make me this year 2023. Lord, make me. You, you, you also have things that people have said. Do you know that people manipulate your emotions by their words? They give you stories so that you can remain at a certain level of your life and not see the glory of God. They give you stories of people that have disappeared, people that have messed up. They give you stories, stories, stories. And do you know what they are doing to your heart? They are telling your heart, it's not possible to live an excellent life. It's not possible to live an honorable life. Now you are angry with a lot of things. Angry with church, angry with men, angry with, with women, angry with life, angry with your boss. No. Jesus has put us in a position where the only yardstick we would look at is him. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Why are you looking unto Pastor Petrock? Looking unto Jesus. Looking unto Jesus. that has affected your walk with God. Too many stories in your mind. Let God purge you of negative stories in your mind. Negative stories in your mind. Negative experiences that has affected your faith in God. It has drowned your faith. It has drowned your faith. And you know that the supernatural can only be connected by faith. You can only feel God by faith. You can only worship Him by faith. Negative things in your brain. To information. Stop being a, a, a bus stop for gossip. Don't be a bus stop for gossip. Don't be a bus stop for gossip. Don't. Don't allow things into your soul. Stop them. Stop them. Stop people from coming to your house to dump dirty stories into your soul. Your soul is not a dustbin. That's why the Bible is called good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Someone comes and says, I have gist for you. <laughs> Just tell the person, I hope I'm not a dustbin. I hope you don't want to use me as a trash can. I hope you don't want to use me as a trash can. Pick trash stories and throw. It doesn't matter if it's true. Don't just throw trash stories into my soul. I 
sometimes it will take you five years to delete something that someone told you in three minutes. It will take you five years to delete something that someone told you in three minutes. Do you know that sister so-and-so said this about you and that's it for five years? You're in pain. And you'll be fighting the sister so-and-so, forgetting that there was somebody that brought the story and dumped it into your soul. Left you there. The person has moved on. You are there. In pain. Let God purge you, purge your soul, purge your spirit. This year, you don't want to carry baggage. No, you're a lightweight. The Bible says, let us lay aside every sin. Lightweight, hallelujah. And you begin to see the miracles of God in your life. You begin to see the mighty power of God in your life. You begin to see the glory of God in your life. You are a lightweight so that you can fly. These diseases. You know, a lot of things that are in our system is because some people have, has, they have contaminated our soul. And Satan takes, takes pleasure in using those stories to inflict us in infirmities. Some of the things I've said today will bring supernatural, supernatural healing to your body. You'll find out that that asthma that you've been feeling where you couldn't eat food properly is because somewhere in your heart you have not let go. That burning sensation you feel every time you take a drink, every time you eat food, you have gas, acid in your soul, in your heart. God! For healing, for transformation, for change, for vessels of honor, make me in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, precious Father. Jesus mighty name somebody say loud amen amen and amen take a minute and share just share 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 to your family share to your friends share to who you believe will be blessed by this share share to as many people as you can Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this great honor that you have given to us. Holy Spirit, for this great honor that you have given to us today. Thank you for your word. 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 I am a vessel of honor. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Vessel of honor. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, family on on on, on Mixalar. God bless you. God bless you. Whoa, whoa. Today we crossed over 120 people, 130 something people on Mixala. God bless you. Please keep. What a day. What a day. What a day. What a day. What a time to rejoice with God. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Please like, share, like and share. Like and share before you log out. Like and share before you log out. Like and share before you. Mixelar, like and share before you log out. Um, YouTube, like and share before you log out. God bless.